So here's my DC setup. I'm using the same 15 kilovolt neon sign transformer, putting it through a bridge rectifier, which is submerged in transformer oil there to stop corona, um, which pumps me up to about 21 kilovolts because of RMS to the peak to peak difference. Uh, there's an in inductor in there that I hand wound, 15 millihenries, which is to smooth the current out a little bit. I don't know how much difference it actually makes. I'm going to pop a gummy bear on top of the chamber there just as a heat indicator and I'm also going to have a play with this magnet which I pulled out of a microwave oven magnetron. It's quite strong. Not rare earth strong but reasonably strong. And there's my chamber with the two mats in it which has proved to be a bit of a disappointment. I can't pull it down as far as I could with only one. I think it is outgassing from the, the mat material in there so I'm going to pull that out. But for now, here we go. not going down to full vacuum. Oh yeah. I'm going to take that silicon mat out. I'm going to turn the pump off and get the air back in and see what happens, show you what happens there. There's no danger of x-rays at this point. This is too much gas in there, it's still ionizing that. It's only when you get no ionizing gas that there's a danger of x-rays. It was quite pretty. If my magnet will affect it. Yep. The other pole. It's actually forming, pushing it around it. So if I do it, let's see, that way. No. Can't pull it too far. That's 
side pushes it away. Some magnetic. Okay. Yeah, the bowl is warm to the touch, but nothing major. It's actually holding its vacuum better than I thought it would. Don't know why it wouldn't pull all the way down. You can hear the frequency, be 100 hertz. It's still a bit bumpy, my inductor's not big enough to smooth this right out. You only really hear it when it gets close to the glass, but when the arc gets close. Oh, and there we go.